This is task one of Microsoft Project uh, tasks that we're working on. Uh, you'll also see here that I'm using Microsoft uh, Project 2016. However, you will find that uh, the other uh, Microsoft Project looks very similar to this. It certainly functions the same. So if you are following along with the instructions that are provided, uh, you'll see that the first thing we're going to do is just create a blank project. Uh, you can do that by clicking on blank project uh, double left clicking it'll open up should look very similar to this next thing that you want to do on this is let's go ahead and save it so we're going to do file uh, save as and then let's save this as uh, CEO conference okay and it's going to sort of save it as a project type click on save once that's done, you'll see up here in the top that this says CEO project um, and we're ready to start rolling. Uh, next thing that you want to do is you see here on line zero, there is uh, nothing in there right now. And you want to be able to get the project summary uh, to pop up in here. So what I want you to do is look up into the format tab. And in the format tab, once you're in here, come over and click on Project Summary Task. And when you click on Project Summary Task, it will now say that your Project Summary CEO Conference uh, is in here listed uh, the way that you want it to. You'll also notice in the bottom left-hand side of your screen that it will say that it's a new task or manual scheduled. You can left-click on this. You can switch this to Auto Scheduling. Auto scheduling makes it to where it's going to schedule everything for one day. Uh, let's go ahead and leave it for auto schedule right now so that we can uh, play with that. Just know that that's an option for you to go back in there and um, work with over time. If you look on page two of your instructions, you'll see that all of the planning for this conference has already been laid out for you. There are two sections for it, two main sections, then early planning section and just a planning section. All of the information is in there, all of the tasks that you need to be able to, to get into and do. Um, however, right now what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and we're going to add tasks. Please remember too that that everything in project is database driven and that the first database is your task and the second database is your resources. We're adding tasks right now and so what we're going to do for just getting some tasks in and getting them going, under task name, we're just going to put in the two major headers, which is early planning. And the second one is planning. OK, so those are our two major areas of planning. Now we can go in and we can start introducing our subtasks. Again, all of those subtasks are written on page two of your instructions and you can insert these other tasks a couple of different ways. One, if you click on, um, right, what I want to do is I'm trying to insert the subtask develop agenda and schedule which is a subset of uh, early planning and so I can click on this and if I go up to the task bar I can come over to insert a task and it's going to insert a task directly above it. So for early planning I can go ahead and develop uh, agenda and schedule. I can also if I want to insert a task I can come over and I can right click uh, and insert tasks. Whoop. As you can see there it went to the wrong location and it went above instead of below. Um, I can just take this um, task whoop, see if it'll let me uh, and so I accidentally added it there. A uh, couple of options here you can either you can either right click cut and then paste it back into its new location or you can once you've highlighted it you can just left click and drag it 
and it'll move it as well. So that's an option for you. Okay, so develop um, a budget goes in here. Um, once again, we're going to insert another task. And I just want you to go down through here and get rid of all these other things. All right. Um, I'm going to put these other ones in. I'm going to pause for a second and let you hold on. Okay, you will see that during that um, brief uh, break there, that what I did is I went ahead and added all of the different tasks, or subtasks rather, for early planning. But you can see from the looks of this, you can see that early planning looks like it's indented um, or related to the conference center. However, all of these other tasks that really should be part of early planning all look like they're at the exact same lineup as early planning and they really should be a subset of it. So what we're going to do is highlight all of them, go up to make sure you're on the task tab, come over and you will see an indent task and when you indent it you will see that all of these now are actually subtasks of early planning. Okay so those are all there. You can do the exact same thing with the things that are in your planning section. So once again they're all in there. Make sure you get a task and then indent these. Uh, there are a couple of the things that it tells you to add along the, the way. Uh, one thing that it certainly tells you that you need to do is that you realize that choosing a venue has other subtasks associated with it. So I'm going to uh, pause for a second and add these items underneath. Uh, choose a venue by just inserting. Okay, you can see now that I have added underneath choose a venue I've added the subtasks that are here and these subtasks once again are subtasks um, that are underneath choose a venue which means that they need to be indented so that choosing the venue has these things associated with it okay again that indent is under task and you can see right now we start to have a hierarchy that's developing CEO conference is the top level. We have two um, first order um, tasks that are working on early planning and then also a uh, the regular planning subtasks associated with it and even some of our types of subtasks have subtasks associated with them. Uh, last thing I want you to do uh, in this section here uh, again make sure that you've read through and added all the other things but as I mentioned to you before, it's often that you will overlook some of the tasks that are associated with just tracking the project itself. So I'm going to right click insert a task because we need to be able to go in and track project management. So I'm going to put project, whoop, they didn't like that. Let's get rid of it. Project management and under project management let's add two subtasks and the first one is project tracking and the second one is issue management we know that project tracking and issue management are subsets of project management so we're going to go to task indent and those both get indented now and so what we've done everything is set up here um, so that we can go in we can look at all of the different projects all the different subtasks that we have and this is what you should look like at the uh, very end of task one